uh, stomach stomach channel. The first point that we uh, have in class that you know I generally don't work this on people, but is stomach one. Stomach one is going to be in between the eyeball and the infraorbital ridge. There is a depression that you can feel um, right at the infraorbital ridge. And this particular point, uh, like all the points around the eye, is going to have a benefit on the eye itself. Depending on what kind of eye disease you're treating, uh, all the points around the eyes will have a little bit different indications about what the, whether it's night blindness, blurry vision, a glaucoma, um, you know, uh, you, there, there's a whole range of um, diseases of the eye uh, that acupuncture can help to uh, work with the symptoms of. Quick, quick question, this is uh -huh. kind of off track. Have you heard of temporal arthritis? Temporal arthritis? Yeah. Is there arthritis in the temporal bone? Apparently, I had a client in clinic that had it and it caused a bunch of eye problems. And yeah, I've not, I've, not, I've not heard of that uh, before, but I would assume that you could get arthritis in you know, any bone, but I'm assuming it's probably more of a, you know, something to do with genetic factors yeah. than you know, wear and tear, because you know, a lot of times people get arthritis. Right, because I figure you can't really, there's not much movement of the yeah. muscle. Yeah, so. No, I have not heard of that one. Uh, so we had stomach one, and then the next point we have uh, that we learn in class is stomach six. So stomach six is going to be at the angle of the jawline. So you just find the angle between the bottom and the uh, you know side. And what you do is you just move one soon in, like at a, at, from the diagonal. Um, and if your client clenches, it's right at the prominence of the masseter muscle. And direction of pressure, you can relax, is straight in. So that's stomach six. Stomach six and seven you use for jaw tension, tightness, TMJ. Those are all going to be the general indications for that. And then after that, we found stomach seven. Stomach seven is going to be just below the zygomatic arch of the zygoma zygomatic bone. Um, but that's how the books will describe it. But, you know, really, if you go to the tragus of the ear, another way to find it, it's going to be about two soon, two and a half soon in front of the tragus of the ear. That's where the depression is. And the pressure is in and then angle upward slightly. And that's stomach seven. Then from there, the stomach meridian is flowing up to stomach eight, just inside the uh, angle of the hairline. And then the stomach meridian flows down through the throat. And then it moves four soon out below the clavicle on both sides, runs directly on line with the nipple. And then when you get to the, about the sternal angle, the meridian moves too soon in, and then we have a line of points um, moving downward, uh, too soon lateral from the umbilicus. The next point that we found in class is stomach 25, too soon lateral. And this is the move point for the large intestine, and this particular point used for general digestive issues, and it will also ha help to harmonize the function between the large intestine and the stomach. And when you're working at this point, you have to work deep enough to get to the muscle wall. Um, to, to actually work into this acupressure point. So that's stomach 25. Pressure straight down? Yep. The, I, generally with the points um, on the abdomen, uh, what I do is usually go straight down and then I might angle in slightly, like maybe about 30 oh, degrees okay. or so. If you go more than 30 degrees, then you end up kind of pushing in and sliding off the point, in my opinion. So uh, usually pressure down first and then pick your direction of, of um, you know, what, what direction you want to go with the point. Um, if I was going to uh, try to tonify the point, what I would do in this case with any point, okay, so when we sedate, we go straight down uh, into the flow perpendicular, and then you press against the flow of the meridian. You know, that's the idea. But just by pressing down, that's enough to sedate the point. But if we're going to end up tonifying the point, what I recommend is starting just slightly above where the apex of the point would be. So then you kind of want to go about a 45 degree angle now if I'm going with in the, the flow. Of the yeah, in the direction of the flow. So you, I recommend if you try to tonify to start slightly above and then push in and then angle downward to actually kind of work with the, with the flow. So we had uh, stomach 25. The stomach meridian is flowing downward. There's some points that we didn't learn in class, uh, like stomach 31. There's a set of points in the quadriceps uh, group as well, 32, 33, and 34, um, that you, I believe you'll learn in advanced point location. And then after that, we found stomach 35. 35 is just going to be 
lateral and inferior to the patella. Um, you know, and what you'll feel as, uh, as far as um, structure, you know, you'd be close to the lateral epicondyle of the tibia here for this point. And when you work into stomach 35, some of the books will recommend working with knee flex or you can work with a leg extended, you know, both, both of them work to access the point. Or the calf's nose? Yep, the translation of the name is calf's nose and it's a C point of the um, stomach channel. And generally what we use this point for with massage therapy is pain and swelling of the knee. Which one's the C point? You, you yeah, said 35 is not, this says 36 is the key C point. Yeah. yeah. Which and when you look I, at the stomach, there it, there'll be a stomach thirty five is a C point. It has a lower C point, which is stomach thirty six. Oh, yes, there's a few meridians that will have two C points on them. Oh, um, okay. In this case, this one has two, so they call it the upper. They just call it the C, and then the lower C is stomach thirty six. So there, you know, sorry for confusion there, but stomach uh, thirty five here, uh, pain and swelling in the knee is what we generally use it for. What, the, what, what reference does calf's nose have? Calf's nose like calf is just kind of if you, they, they think if you look at the knee uh -huh. on both sides with the depression oh. underneath the patella that it looks like a calf's nose. Okay. That's, that's the cute. idea. How <laughs> cute. Okay. So next we have stomach 36. Stomach 36 um, is going to be three soon below stomach 35. So it's just going to be off the crust of the tibia. I think you get more sensation if you roll a little bit more into the mu musculature than just pushing right between the muscle and the bone for this point. Uh, stomach 36, um, it, you can use to tonify uh, you know, chi and blood in the body. It'll help circulate chi and blood. Uh, this is leg three mile, so use it for fa fatigue and weakness in the lower leg from overuse. And just in general, uh, you know, for musculoskeletal um, you know, massage therapy at this point can really help loosen up the uh, anterior musculature of the lateral leg when we're at the point. This will also have an effect on digestion and it'll help redirect chi flow in the proper direction. So that's stomach 36. And then from there, we have stomach 38 and then stomach 40. So if you measure from stomach 35 to stomach 41, there is about uh, 16 soon there. And stomach 38 is uh, listed to be Eight soon below stomach 35. So stomach 35 is here. There's three, six, seven, eight. For stomach 38, you're just moving right off the crest of the tibia for this acupressure point. And stomach 38, again, you can use for lower leg tension. I'd like working stomach 38 and 40 on uh, you know people who are on their feet a lot or biking, you know, running. People, you know, a lot of times people come in with a, a lot of tension, tightness, sometimes pain, shin splints. Um, this, this is a good acupressure point to work. And this point is also known to treat unil unilateral shoulder pain. So the shoulder pain on one side. Um, I've seen Dr. Joe do this where, again, you work the acupressure point, he needles it, and then asks the client to start rotating uh, their shoulder actively while the, the needle's in. And they will get usually a more range of motion and less pain uh, by working this point. And then next is stomach 40. Stomach 40 is just going to be a finger breath, you know, so lateral to stomach 38. A finger breath is, you know, maybe like a quarter to half a soon. But really, you just roll over the musculature, and now you're kind of in, uh, in the more uh, medial aspect of the tibialis and anterior. And then underneath, you're going to have extensor hallucis longus um, and extensor uh, digitorum underneath as far as musculature coming down and connecting to the toes. Mm -hmm. Stomach 40 is the loo connecting point to the spleen. Uh, this point is known to help clear, uh, you know, phlegm and dampness from the lungs as well. And then I'd say just in general, you can use this point again for uh, lower leg pain, tension, tightness. Then moving downward, we have... Just the connecting point to what? What's that? Just the connecting point to what? The, the spleen. The spleen, okay. Yep. Then next we have stomach 41 in between the tendons of extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus. Very similar feel to LI5, in my opinion. And with this particular point, what you do is you press down, and you're right in between the articulation, um, between the uh, tarsals, foot, and the... Uh, tibia and fibula, 
And then what you do is you press in and then angle upward for this point to really work into it. And this point you use for pain and swelling in the ankle. Um, like all the points, again, as you get more to the extremities, stomach 41 and uh, stomach in 44 are going to have indications for redness in the eyes, uh, you know, tension, tightness in the face and jaw. Uh, they'll also have indications for uh, like a frontal headache um, as well. So stomach 41 here. Then the next point that we have is stomach 44. 44 is going to be in between the second and third uh, toes. 0.5 soon proximal to the margin of the web. And uh, again, indications for this point are going to be uh, headache, uh, clearing heat from the uh, face, eyes, and now this will help clear heat from the uh, stomach as well. And to work this point, you squeeze from the top and the bottom, and then you pull towards yourself. 